80% of South Africa's Chinese community lives in the country's commercial hub, Johannesburg. One of them is businessman Kurt Chung, who came to South Africa 14 years ago to better his fortune. He's also a community leader linking it with the Chinese embassy and business leaders, and his family on the side of South Africa's ruling party. Uh, the elections are meaning to me because the ANC has a relationship with the Chinese government. Zhang says he's happy with the life he's made for himself and his family here, including two children who are now citizens. However, he worries about high crime levels. Safety is an issue here and it shall be improved. While Ke Zhang is keen to see the ANC remain in power, across town in the northern suburbs of Johannesburg, the Zhao family is a little less concerned about election day. Yeah, apparently we get the day off as a public holiday tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think citizens look forward to it. They've been waiting. The family has spent more than a decade in Johannesburg and say as long as nothing changes, South Africa will always be their home. Zia and Jerry are planning to start a family. But Jerry's parents are still in China and will need to visit him in his second home. You know, before um, some visitors, the visa is very, very easy to make, but now it's getting difficult. So if my family, someone want to, want to come to, like, uh, to see me, so if it's difficult to make a visa, so it's not uh, good for us. The chief concern is that immigration red tape is cut and that the economy remains sound. Currency is very important to us, the rates, obviously, you know, we are here for a living, but to, to make a better li life. So obviously, the more stronger the land is, also a better way for us if we go overseas or, or go back to home, our hometown in China. Famida Miller, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.